everybody. Welcome to DOO. My name is Aurelius and today we're gonna be doing a Bahamut's EX mission. As you can see, I've already went ahead and cleared out the map over the weekend. Uh, just been a really busy weekend, so sorry for no videos going up during that time frame. Um, if you've read my Facebook discussion, you'll know that recently engaged and uh, me and my fiance were checking out some venues uh, and just enjoying each other's time. <laughs> So anyway, um, just a couple of things came out today, um, namely Bahamut's uh, permanent location, which, you know, uh, I've completed in the past. I do not remember how hard this fight was. I do remember you might need a healer for it, though. Um, as you can see... Here, these are all the enemies. Four waves is just a straight boss run. You know, um, but it's only a level 70 mission. So, it shouldn't be too difficult. I might be thinking of a story chapter boss that had a Dark Bahamut in it instead. That was a little bit more difficult. Um, and as you can see from the other screenshot. Uh, there's some new weapons. Uh, well, they're not necessarily new, but you know they're they're good. Uh, what do you say? How do you call it? They're good boosting uh, weapons. Not necessarily the best weapon for the characters. Um, I know a few of them. A few of the characters in the game have a fourth weapon that will do something similar but we'll get more into that later for now the dark bahamut must go down so this party i'm gonna be bringing for this um you know uh, looking at the enemy list it just looks like a straight boss pounding you know so i'm just bringing the heavy uh, single target hitters. I do apologize for the sniffles. Um, even though it's spring and I live in Washington, and it, you know it's notoriously known for raining. And these past few mornings have just been extremely cold when I'm waking up. And also, I've been sneezing and runny noses and that whole jazz. I'm not getting sick. <laughs> it's just it's just so cold in the mornings. It's, it makes you feel like you're catching a cold. Anyway, that was one boss down. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and missile here. Just go ahead and get that mastered for the extra HP boost. Go ahead and smite that Bahamut, and I should just be able to HP attack that for the kill. Now, the EX missions in these uh, summon fights aren't really the hardest things in the world. You know, some of them might be a bit time consuming. I know the one with like the five wind drakes, you know, going back to back can be a bit of a struggle. Because each one just gets stronger and stronger as you go. I think that was uh, the Wind Summons. I can't remember its name right now. But I have that. But yeah, these EX missions aren't that difficult. No, no. As long as you have a good party you should be able to beat them all pretty easy peasy and the best part is they only cost five uh 
World of Illusions energy, 5 SP. So, as you see, this Bahamut is already halfway down. I think I'm just going to go ahead and summon my support here. Army, you want them to death. Hopefully. Nope, not quite. So we'll go ahead and spark strike, get that max brave up. This will be a meteor. And the smite should finish him off. Like I said, should finish him off. <laughs> I remember this fight wasn't as straightforward as it looked. Okay, I think that was the last trick he had up his sleeve though, so. Once we knock this HP bar off, he should be dead. Holy crap. 20. Okay. Brave, he's about ready to do some kind of group attack, I can tell. And this should be an army of one for the kill. No! Oh, wow, he barely survived that. Barely. As you see, nothing too difficult. Just be, just expect them to uh, restore his health once you knock off that first HP bar. This is one thing I do not like about these new bosses. They all have some kind of trick up their sleeve. Ooh, and that brought me up to exactly 75k gems. Or 7.5k. I wish I had 75k gems. I definitely have Lightning's EX. If that was the case. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll come over to the draw shop. And... We'll show off these weapons a little more uh, in detail. I think I hit the wrong button. And for this pull up, no, okay. Cool, so it's just the screenshot I pulled up earlier. Um, yeah, like Vaughn's weapon, the Lila Edge, I've known that been in the game for quite some time um and as far as Yuna's amber rod i don't know if that's new or if that's existed like i said these are just like secondary weapons that will give them uh the characters that have them a unique skill you know uh it looks like they're both 15 cp You know, um, that's what the Lila Edge does, or Lila Edge, however you pronounce that. <laughs> Max Brave up one and attack up one to sell for five turns, which I don't think it'd be really worth it for Vaughn, just because, you know, he, the only chance he has at reaching his Max Brave is with that second White World hit and I do believe Red Spiral gives him an attack up buff as well so it's a good alternative if you don't have his other 15 C CP weapon which if we scroll down here I'm pretty sure we'll find that uh, the platinum sword yeah attack up for three turns or yeah, from it just increases duration of attack up from three to four turns. 
where it doesn't say how many turns this does. Oh no, five turns. So yeah, it's a little bit better than the Platinum Sword overall. But, I mean, if you've already got the Platinum Sword MLB, then I don't see the real need for this. And like I said, the Max Brave Up one, there's so much, you're probably not running with the van without some kind of heavy Brave support. You know, so the Max Brave Up one is just isn't worth it in my mind. Now this Amber Rod, you know, uh, infuses Brave Attacks with Thunder, low chance of granting speed up one to self for three turns. That could be useful for a unit, especially since uh, with her extension, she does have a little bit of healing capability. You know, and if you, for those of you who have used her, she is mass Brave support. You know, um, so this little boost to her and getting her speed up even faster would be a pretty good thing for her. Um, and yeah, it does look like these are both 15 CP weapons. I know they're, they can be 35 CP. Uh, Cloud's NT Buster was, uh, 35 CP, um... There is one for Squall 2, but I don't know if that's 15 or 35. And there's a few other characters that have a fourth weapon as well. I don't know exactly who they are just because, you know, I never really tried hunting these down except for Clouds, and that was about it because Clouds, his, let me pull him up. Yeah, his uh, additional weapon gives the increased damage to uh, the cross slash. Uh, I do believe it's new insight. Yeah, deal is slight more slightly more brave damage with cross slash and finishing touch. Which is useful for him. He does have a little bit of trouble hitting his max brave, especially after a finishing touch. After a meteor rain. Yeah, so. You know, his max brave gets up there pretty high. And a normal cross slash isn't gonna do max damage. Anyway. <laughs> I do do want Eunice Umber Rod, so I know I said I wasn't going to spend any gems until Rydia, but looking at the month of May, you know, she's not coming, and I, while I'm excited for Barrett, I doubt I'm going to get him MLB. So, and this would be a good chance to get my Yuna boosted, you know, and maybe pull some stuff for uh, Vaughn, namely this Will Sword, to get these guys built back up. Like, these two weapons right here also have a very good chance of dropping. So, and these are two characters I've recently destroyed. And I really want them built back up. And this is just a really great opportunity. Uh, sorry, my puppy was uh, chewing on my cord. For a second. <laughs> so, uh, a couple draws. I don't know. All the draws are here until May 2nd. So, outside of locks and the weekly draw, all these draws are going away in a few days. And there's some other stuff going away as well. We'll go ahead and do the first multi draw, but just half off. And usually, when they do these, they are half off. And what the crap? <laughs> like, seriously? Not what I was expecting at all. At all. 
Okay, so we'll go ahead and do another one. Come on, give me this amber rod. Nope, but I did get another Zwill blade. Which is good. And that's 7.5k gems down the drain. Uh, I mean, uh, with with uh, April coming too close, there's a few other things that are going away. Um, the five star idojas for D6 are going away in two days, as well as the current boosted characters for the uh, what was that mission called? The one where you fight Maleficent and and Caius. All that's going away in two days. Um, Cactor Conundrum should be going away in a couple of days as well. I mean, it says until the 29th for a Cactor Conundrum. Which technically today is the 29th, so... Maybe we'll have one more day of this. No, which is just a really great place to uh, grab some EXP for your characters, especially if they need it. And also, defeating Cactus in the event will give you these tokens up here, which you can spend on this stuff. And as you can see, they're double. Than what you can buy in a normal token market. So, and the shops usually stay open like two to three days after an event closes. So, you'll still have some time to build up and spend these um, potions. I barely use them, and I have 238 <laughs> of them. Uh, yeah. So, there's six days left on that, five days left on Destiny's at Odds. That's the mission I was trying to talk about. So, these two, oh, what are you doing? Yeah, these two events are going away pretty soon along with their, with all those draws, like for the draws and the draw system right now, will be gone. I do believe Thursday will be uh, the second, which if we come home, and look at the schedule, I do believe that's when Barrett's coming out, is the second. Oh no, that's when the Heretic Challenge quests come out. See, I knew something was happening on the second. You know what I'm saying, Perry? Just because his grown arm and that haircut and those big old arms. I'll be really surprised if that's not Barrett. I'll feel like an idiot if that's not Barrett. Uh, he should be coming next week, then, on the 6th. So we got the Heretic quest to look forward to uh, this week and you know so go ahead wrap up do your final little things I think um, Palam's event missions are going away pretty soon as well yeah I'm not doing well with these EX missions I know <laughs> uh, oh no Palam's Event missions are already gone. It's looking like. Yeah, so you've got a couple more days to do the Destiny's at odds. Uh, and I was trying to do these the other day. Like, I'm not having too much trouble completing the quest. It's just doing it in a timely manner. And I don't 
have uh, any of the group hitters, you know, for MLB, just making it extremely difficult. I'm having to take out those uh, groups one by one in every way in that every way in that expert mission, except for the fight with Caius. You know, is uh, there's multiple enemies on screen, and having to take them out one by one versus you know getting rid of a you know, a couple of the spawns all at once is messing me up. <laughs> Just taking way too much time in this quest. Well, anyway, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to see more content from me in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell and hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you later